Righto everybody, day after Christmas day, Boxing Day, I've escaped to the shed again. See what I escaped? A couple of things I want to show you today. Um, two is windscreen. So I've switched mine uh, over from the traditional corner, which is that one, to the tinted 100 plus that. Um, make your minds up whether you think it looks better. But in my mind, there's too much of this plastic clear stuff going on. So I don't really like it. And if I had my way, I'd change the whole lot to black or tinted or wrapped. So anyway, let's see what you think. So mine I've taken off the ears as I call them, um, which I think is much better. So it does wrong one. That's the other ear. There it is. It does make a bit of a difference to the look here. Um, You haven't got all this. Oh, I had the right one in the first place. So here we go. So they fit in like that. Now, I don't like them. I think they're a bit of an afterthought. Um, but anyway, a couple of screws and a good pull. Well, a good wiggle actually. You need to take this screen off and lever them up that way. And if you can see, it's got an L-shaped hook on it. It then comes out pretty easily. So, not really my thing. So I've gone for the uh, the black look, which I like. And I've been riding without them. And at the moment, I'm gonna have to do with and without, but I can't really tell the difference. So we'll see. So the electronic windscreen. The old one was a bit fun. You wound a big stiff knob and uh, it moved. But uh, this one is electronic. Standard on the comfort back. Um, pretty easy to use. Uh, basically hit the, what looks like a hamburger sign. And go into windscreen on the windy and then bingo full height which really works with the uh, alloy helmet I use the adventure helmet the Torx um, I don't get any buffeting at all and then switch to go back down and you can connect the, you can switch this to automatic so it automatically adjusts um, when you go over 10 or 15 miles an hour, which is fairly useful. But when you arrive at your traffic lights, the windscreen's down and then it's got to go back up. So I don't really see the point in it. Um, but anyway, um, the other controls that are on the hamburger switch, which is the quick access menu, is heating. Um, windscreen, DTC, damping and ride height. Uh, but you can change those to whatever you want on the, on the multi, on the quick action button. But no, this is really just about windscreen. Um, really useful. Uh, whether you like it in its up position is the different story.
I don't mind it. So that's it in its raised position, which leaves a big gap here, um, which you're going to get a lot of buffeting through. So that's where the afterthought lumps of plastic from BMW have come in. They clip in there. Let's see if I can get that in. Nope, won't stay. But uh, there you go. I wouldn't normally treat a customer's bike like this. It's my bike, so let me just ram them in. So they, in a tinted black or a carbon wrap or some kind of wrap black, would look actually quite a lot better. But I prefer them off at the moment. So let's see. So that's really all that was about. Um, Boxing Day hideaway. Well, now I wonder if somebody could tell me what that noise is. I'm taking the microphone now. You hear that? It's not the crows outside. It's like a, uh, a fridge when it's switched the power off and it's cooling. I wouldn't mind knowing what that is. Anybody got any views on that? Let me know. Anyway, that's it, Boxing Day. Better get back in. Once again, don't want to be in trouble for being in the shed. Thank you. Thanks for watching.